Actually, I am delivering on behalf of Asfico and uh, Mr. Srinivasan Venkatramanan, who is my friend, who struck up in the UK and I belongs to the same background, that's why I am delivering this. Uh, we have developed a SVA based checker IP in the very letter simulator. So, and thanks to uh, Foji Foundation for uh, allowing us to give this presentation. Uh, this is the agenda we uh, prepared here and uh, the, uh, we have a brief introduction of ourselves and uh, the SVA that is uh, assertion based uh, uh, um, system where log uh, checkers and uh, we are uh, running those on top of this very letter simulator and we also have a couple of plugins like SV units uh, all these are open source and uh, uh, we choose the all these um, 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 case study on the very famous uh, AMBA uh, bus protocols uh, that is uh, APB and uh, AHP and I will go through some of the results uh, we achieved and uh, we fixed a lot of tool issues and, um, uh, and um, um, uh, all the, our approaches and uh, in including at the end we are going to give you the debugging approach and also give you the um, GitHub um, what you call a github uh, um, location uh, so these are the open source contributions we have done on uh, very later and uh, um, and variable that is uh, google's linting parsing tool and yes we unit for the actually the uh, unit testing for the framework and uh, uh, last minute we got this surprising tool called SV uh, waveform I don't know how much you guys have used this but it's really interesting debugging tool uh, it's a log based tool and at the end uh, we conclude with why open source and what are the achievement we have done so <coughs> who, uh, who we are actually we are uh, UK based a startup uh, chip design startup and um, uh, we have done uh, decades of uh, uh, contribution to the chip design and um, uh, EDA expertise and bringing the EDA automations. And I myself have 15, more than 15 years experience and my Srini is more than 25 years experience and we have a lot of contribution to these technologies, um, including where RTL design verification. And we also have a lot of training solutions to the RTL design verification, system with log, BHDL, Specman E, and also the UVM and other uh, ERM methodologies. And I have small um, uh, brief introduction here on our uh, flow. What we are designing here is uh, generative AIs and uh, AI analytics. Uh, I'll go through that uh, more in the next slides. So, <coughs> uh, what does the ASFIGO do? Uh, the ASFIGO actually automates the EDA automations and it also does the, some training contributions and a lot of uh, contribution to the open source where uh, um, you can actually mature, mature the um, tool and you can also develop your own checker IP where we are actually uh, doing the plugin we are working on that and we have EDA flows too and um, um, our play uh, uh, field for today is uh, the very later the important thing is a simulator and this is almost 10x uh, um, uh, faster than the regular tools even I experienced that and a uh, little bit hiccups uh, there uh, we have STF annotations and uh, AMS based verification uh, sorry AMS design compilation but this is a perfect tool uh, for the open source um, concern and uh, SV unit framework uh, has a fantastic uh, uh, contribution to the um, this system and uh, we choose the SVA because the most of the system uh, today's system is based on the, uh, if you go for the verification uh, the formal verification simulation emulation and the um, and we have the prototyping so in the formal um, verification plays the important role when you you are in beginning stage of your uh, chip designing process so uh, that comes here in the um, uh, this is again open source uh, SV um, uh, system well log. Uh, I, I put up this uh, system well log, uh, uh, what do you call, I3B uh, 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 scheduler, where uh, pre-pawn region, active region, all these are the design phase, and uh, 
non blocking and then comes the absorbed region that is where our main focus when we have a this kind of plug in uh, it will actually contribute both the design side and verification side and the most of today's industry like uh, uh, 20 percent of designers are spending a lot of time with the verification debug and uh, 40 percent of uh, uh, actual verifications are spending on the debugging side that is why uh, that this uh, um, plugin like uh, system will log plugins will help us uh, and uh, in the fast uh, moving phase of the chip tap outs. And uh, the case study we took that APB and AHB that is uh, a low uh, performance a low power uh, protocol and the high performance high protocol. Uh, this is the standard because uh, more than 70 percent of uh, industry, almost 70 percent of industry uh, all AMBA based architecture. Uh, and what we achieved here, uh, so these are the assertion checks we have written. Uh, for example, I will go through this uh, ABB uh, protocol, uh, lot of uh, contribution to this uh, um, uh, checker IP. This is one of the uh, APB assertion list I am uh, putting down here. Uh, for example, status T0 to T1 is completely ideal state and the uh, APB protocol works with uh, three different uh, stages, uh, uh, ideal state and setup stage and um, um, active state that is uh, uh, connection state. So, ideal state T1, T0 to T1 is completely ideal and T1 to T2 is the act, uh, setup stage and T2 to T3 is active stage. So, uh, for example, if you have any scenario with this uh, protocol specific, you can code a um, uh, assertion with this. I will go through the couple of assertions which we have gone through this uh, and the AHP also. Uh, we have this uh, pipeline stage uh, protocol like AHP and um, AHP has um, like address phase and data phase and concurrently running and uh, these many assertion checks we gone through, uh, 15, more than 15 assertions uh, we wrote for that uh, checker IP in the APB and AHP um, uh, is more than 25 test cases uh, we have written. So, what it does contribute uh, in the very later simulator is it has also a plugin <coughs> plugin positive and negative checks. So, that way you do not uh, uh, miss any bugs uh, during the uh, uh, simulation process or uh, your bring up process. So, we code SVA assertions and uh, we set up through the very later simulator and uh, write a unit test that is using a SV unit. We have a unit test for each test we have a pass to or next to negative that way we can cross check uh, both uh, pass, um, passing and failing one we can cross check with that framework. And we have a debugger uh, like uh, um, we initially started with the GTK waves uh, along with the ICS uh, that new uh, open source tool. But uh, um, more than that I found that the SV wave term is a uh, newly added and that is very interesting. This very later SV unit and uh, these are all three you, uh, you can get in the GitHub as a uh, and this SV wave term is uh, very interesting tool. So, as we uh, said in, um, um, b before we have a APB protocol. So, for example, in a FSM ideal state to when it going uh, from the ideal state uh, when you are in accelerated uh, access state uh, the next state is always ideal state or setup state that is the property we have to check. So, uh, this is the abort condition it checks uh, disable if if and uh, it also checks uh, uh, it runs on the default clock here this tool is another beauty about this you do not need to define if we have one single clock on there and this is uh, anti sent and this is a descent trend and uh, it is uh, always concurrent checker and we have a, um, a checker IP here and when uh, the scenario comes um, uh, it passes otherwise it goes the nice failing um, uh, message it ends with a nice failing message. So, uh, and um, uh, for example, we, uh, we have the uh, failing scenario how we check we have a SV test suit and we added with the uh, 
Uh, for example, um, as I told you in an APB protocol, uh, when it, uh, whenever there is a P cell, uh, the next clock cycle uh, P enable has to be high. Otherwise, uh, it is a, um, a failing scenario. So, uh, we wantedly created a failing scenario here and uh, uh, P enable is, uh, when P cell is high, P enable is low for two more clock cycle, then it has to fire an error. So, we have uh, this plugin uh, assertion based um, checker IP, uh, checker IP, CIP uh, plugin that is um, uh, now if we have plugin this uh, uh, Peter Moons who developed this SV Wavetum logging log debug and it saves a lot of time when uh, I work for the Wordy and uh, different other tools but it takes a lot of time but this is, uh, uh, this offers a very quick solution when there is a uh, with respect to clock when his P cell is high <coughs> and there is a, a P enable is low for uh, more than two clocks and, um, and the assertion is failed. This is the quick way of uh, debugging. And, uh, and also we have some pass fail scenarios and uh, we have some um, log messages came from the very letter and the SV suit uh, plugins. And uh, these are our contribution to the uh, open source. Uh, we have done the verilator, SV unit, and we explored uh, variable that is a Google's um, uh, uh, framing and um, linting tool. Uh, we ported uh, this checker IP, what we have this plugin to the verilator, and it works fine. We reported uh, more than 100 issues, uh, sorry, 10 issues, and fixed some of the simulator issues like verilator issues, and we ported SV unit need to the very later and uh, we found more than four issues and we branched to the ported uh, repository and we also ported the SV uh, wave term to the very later and uh, we need a very uh, volunteers here and uh, if you are student and you are exploring all these simulators you can always question uh, go to the github and you can question you can fix or you can al always have question and there is someone who is going to fix that. In that way, uh, this tool get get day by day matured, and uh, these are all the questions you will see that in the GitHub right now. Uh, these are these many issues are fixed, and now more so too many uh, things are opened, and uh, and with that, I'm going to end with my presentation with my Srini, my friend, uh, gave me this. Uh, why we are doing uh, instead of that uh, working your uh, time and your why we are doing open source means a lot of things <laughs> we came from society and took a lot of uh, from outside and it's time to give a little bit on the back uh, give back won't give me the um, strength for me to live a fruitful life uh, to this land that's a quotation Srini sent me and uh, with that I'm with the Crips um, um, at the assertion based uh, system very log assertion based checker IP uh, we ported into the um, very later uh, tool and it works fine anybody can try this is a GIP ID and if you have any questions you can feel free to um, uh, contact is this point uh, where um, Srinivasan Venkat my friend he will take you the and he has a lot of uh, other uh, thoughts to share in the uh, open platform and uh, that's it uh, if you have any question let me know Any questions? Where's Julius? <laughs> yes. Olaf. Question. Oh. <laughs> uh, why did you? Or great talk. Um, why did you uh, decide to use the uh, SV wave term um, as opposed to like GTK wave? Uh, like, did it give you like additional features? Uh, uh, GTK wave. At least to install and plug in it at least 30 minutes. This is just to uh, import, and in the waveform, you will see this uh, uh, in the log file, you will see the waveform. That's the beauty. That's why last moment, this two, three weeks back uh, development. This is not uh, too much development. The Peter Monson, I don't know, thanks to him, but uh, he has done a great job with that plugin. So we came to know that and uh, started using, and we find better, uh, you know, way of just getting right. We always 
uh, speed up our stuff, right? And if it is multi-million gate, uh, cheap, then you will wait for a long time. And, uh, but if it is small design, you quickly you want to see the results. That's the beauty of that uh, tool. Thank you. Yeah, I never saw that. If you have anybody, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I never saw that, uh, you know, waveform uh, debugging in the log file is uh, a little surprising for me too. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Any, Any questions? questions? Yeah, this feels like an obvious question. Um, do you have a sense for how how much work and how much time it's going to take to upstream the bug fixes to to Verilator and to the places where they need to go before this is ready to go from a, a top of tree sort of checkout? And, this and is test? fantastic question. This is very quick. But if you have any questions like this, uh, construct in system Verilog is not working. Just post it in the uh, open form. If you post this, they will fix it. And you can also fix. There is a uh, list of uh, instructions there uh, in the very letter. They can, you can also fix that, uh, or you can open that they will fix it. For example, some system where lock construct is not working in a very letter, like uh, right now, whatever in the system where lock assertion sequence uh, construction. That sequence thing is uh, certain issues with that sequence uh, execution, uh, sequence and sequence, you know, right? System where lock. So uh, that's why, uh, you know, they are taking care uh, and uh, a lot of, lot of uh, brilliant people in the, like Srinivas, my friend, they are doing a lot of contribution to this. Yeah, yeah, they had a couple of, uh, it looked to me like there were a couple of issues that you identified with, with Verable and with uh, Verilator that were, uh, that were open. They weren't yet closed and weren't yet merged upstream. And so if I check out the source code from uh, Verilator and try your examples, it's uh, not clear that it will work yet. I'm just wondering how long it will take to get uh, all of your work into the top of tree in Ver Verilator. It's there today. Oh, okay, then I misunderstood. Yeah, yeah it's there today. W what are the fixes? Couple of things like back and forth. Uh, they do a lot of little verification, check that, and uh, all the constraints are working or not. Uh, since we have a pass fail scenarios, because it's minor things, right? It takes time. A lot of other uh, volunteers who is working, they're going to contribute to this, take one more more task, and they will run uh, whenever they get time, and they will report that this thing is not working, then they will report to back. In that way, they'll get matured. Yeah. Yeah, but as of now, uh, this uh, uh, SVA, uh, this SV goes uh, checker IP with respect to APB, AHB, perfectly working. I myself simulated and I checked the results and I they got a lot of confidence to <laughs> give this lecture to you guys. Yeah. Then, no other question. Last call. Let's thank the speaker again. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.